In response to persistent gaps in the implementation of competence-based assessment CBA in Ugandan secondary schools, particularly in the teaching of geography, a team of researchers from the University of Rwanda College of Education launched the study. The project, led by Associate Professor Muhiri Nosant, aimed to examine how CBA influences the students' learning outcomes and real-life readiness. Professor Muhiri Nosant shares what inspired the team to embark on this research journey. We decided to conduct this research based on the current situation of the competence-based assessment implementation in the secondary school, especially in a geography subject. And also, it was highlighted by different scholars in the publications they made that the competence-based assessment is not accurately implemented as a planet. Mm -hmm. Although the competence-based assessment is a core aspect of the competence-based curriculum, its practical implementation in geography classrooms is still facing significant challenges, especially uh, CBA methods such as the fieldwork, project-based and the practical assessment are either absent or poorly executed. This limits students to develop uh, higher order skills and uh, apply uh, geography knowledge to the real life problems. To address identified the challenges in assessing geography, a research team from your College of Education was formed. Prof. Mohir Nocent now shares the composition of the team and the title of the study. A group of researchers composed of Associate Professor Mohir Innocent, Associate Professor Manuachisa Vincent, Mrs. Twizelmana Yvonne, and uh, Mr. Kamanzi Francis, as well as uh, Mrs. Ingabire Marie Yvonne, undertook a research project known as Application of Competence Based Assessment and its Influence on Student Learning Outcomes in Geography in Ugandan secondary schools. Mrs. Twizerimana Yvonne outlines the key objectives of the research. This research project is uh, targeting to uh, identify the assessment method currently used in geography in Rwanda secondary schools to explore teachers and students' perceptions of competency-based assessment. And uh, the last objective was to recommend strategies of uh, strengthen competency-based teaching and uh, assessment for improved implementation of uh, the competency-based curriculum. Next, Professor Mohire explains the study design and how data were collected. This study employed a mixed method research approach, integrating both quantitative and qualitative methodology to provide a comprehensive understanding of competence-based assessment in geography education. The study was conducted in two districts namely Gachenye and Gasabo district to ensure a balanced representation of both the rural and urban context a total of six schools were selected for the study three schools were sampled from Gachenye districts which is predominantly rural while the remaining three were selected from Chigari city representing an urban setting the selection also took into account the type of school ownership and management. Specifically, the sample included 
two public schools, two government-aided schools, and two private schools. Regarding the model of operation, one of the schools operates exclusively as boarding school, three are strictly day schools, and the remaining two offer both boarding and day schooling options. This diverse selection was intended to capture a wide range of experiences and conditions across different school environments. Structured questionnaires were administered to 86 students while teacher checklists were completed by a total of nine teachers. In-depth interviews were conducted with 12 school administrators comprising both head teachers and deputy head teachers. Furthermore, supplemental interviews were held with two staff members from NESA and classroom observations were also carried out involving six teachers to gain additional insight into teaching and learning practices in the classroom. Quantitative data were analyzed using SPSS, descriptive statistics including frequencies, percentages, and means were used to summarize the data. While inferential statistics were applied where appropriate to identify patterns and relationship among variables, quantitative data drawn from interviews, open-ended questionnaire responses and classroom observations were also analyzed using thematic analysis. Mrs. Twizerimana presents the major findings from the study. This study revealed that the competency-based assessment is a, a good picture of the implementation of competency-based curriculum in schools. Yet, uh, schools are still struggling uh, with the understanding and applying competency-based curriculum principles. Um, geography teachers are increasingly incorporating competency-based assessment methods such as uh, performance tasks, project-based assessment, uh, field work, and peer assessment into their pedagogical document. However, the level of implementation varies significantly due to contextual, institutional, and uh, individual factors. Moreover, teachers acknowledge the importance of aligning assessment uh, with learners' competences, especially in uh, fostering uh, critical thinking, problem solving, and the practical application of geographical knowledge, but assessment practices remain largely traditional. Among the six levels of learning competencies, only two remembering and understanding were predominantly reflected in the assessment. In contrast, higher order competencies such as uh, uh, applying, uh, analyzing, evaluating and creating were largely overlooked. Uh, this study found that teachers identify several ongoing challenges that impede um, the effective implementation of competence-based assessment. These challenges include limited opportunities for professional development, uh, insufficient essential resources such as uh, the standardized assessment tools, uh, teaching aids, laboratory facilities, and financial support required for effective implementing competence-based assessment and uh, supporting field 
based learning activities. The project team also developed the practical recommendations and the follow-up actions to enhance the CBA. This study put forward a set of recommendations aimed at strengthening competence-based assessment in geography in secondary schools. This includes ongoing professional development for teachers, improved allocation of resources, the establishment of clear implementation frameworks, enhanced collaboration among stakeholders, and regular monitoring and evaluation processes. It underscores that the sustainable implementation of competence-based education depends on continuous capacity building, adequate funding, and comprehensive systemic support from all relevant stakeholders to ensure the effective application of competence-based assessment practices. Based also on the project findings, the project members decided to undertake the training, especially for the teachers. In that regard, a training manual was prepared and also the team members are ready to train a sample of the teachers who will disseminate the knowledge which they will gain from that training. Thank you. Thank you. Too.